Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and this is the Tucson TS319 review, and it's going to be fast. So hopefully you guys can keep up. 14C 28M blade steel. Awesome steel. Tucson does a really good job with it. We have a titanium scaled knife with a steel liner lock. Um, titanium clip and backspacer with a hidden lanyard. Now, we have some inserts. Now, I can link these below. Um, as of right now, I think I can only get the micarta inlay version for like 90 bucks, but you guys can check it out down in the links. Now, it is a thick knife in the handle, and the blade is only like two and five eighths. It's less than three inches long, so it is a small knife. Big, nice big hole, lots of room to get to that hole. Now, it reminds me of the Gabco Nurse, and a lot of people say it reminds them of the, the Ferrum Forge Prolix. So, and you can see it does. Um, they're very similar in size too. This is just a little bit bigger. Definitely thicker. Very thick in the handle, but it winds up becoming super comfortable in the hand. It is so comfortable in the hand. Um, and it also helps out with the reverse flick because you have so much to grab onto. That you can just like hold it like this and bang, pop that blade out. Very easy, very nice access. Or you can just lay it in your hand, cover it with the thumb, bang. You can basically flip it from any part of the hole, whether it's the top or down here towards the bottom. They're all very easy. Thumb action is also really good. Slow rolls, very nice, and it has really cool acoustics. Listen to this. I'm not sure how good that's coming over the mic, but it is very satisfying and a really cool little ting sound on the close. Now this is also gonna work really good for the left hand, even though the clip is not reversible, but for flicking it, it will work great. Now, access to the lock bar is really, really good. It is a steel liner lock though, uh, but when you unlock it, very false shutty when you unlock it, but then it's not false shut action. It does have two suns plastic uh, ceramic caged bearings, if you can see it. And they are very, very smooth, but it is a light little blade. So, you know, it's very smooth, just not fall shut action. No issues. Now, it does not have a reverse detent like a lot of two suns, but it's also not hard to fight past it. But it's easy to slap it shut. Now, the, the cutting performance, because... This does have a really cool little sheep's foot blade and the way it fits in your hand, it's going to be really good. Kind of like what Ben Peterson said, he likes to make knives like when he made the banter and the baby banter, he wanted to make sure that he could get his finger really close to the tip, not all the way there, but really close, which this one does too. And it gives you a lot of control with that tip for utility cuts. And this knife is going to be very good at opening things up. It's going to just be a great little backup carry or even a primary carry for just basic EDC tasks. Opening things up, opening boxes, you have a lot of control with this blade, really nice. So utility cuts are gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna be a great utility cutter. The tip is nice and strong, and it did come with a good factory edge, nice and sharp. We're gonna talk more about that here in just a second. Now, regular cuts. Now, even though the ergos are fantastic, so that is going to give you a lot of muscle and strength into your cuts, it doesn't have the best geometry. You can see how thick the blade is. Now, it does get down to a very thin behind the edge. Right here is the thinnest point, and then it slightly gets thicker and thicker all the way up to the tip, so the tip's going to be the thickest point. Right in the middle is about 15 thousandths behind the edge, so it is nice and thin behind the edge, but it does get thick quick. It is a short blade. However, for basic cutting tasks, you know, if you need to break down a little cardboard here and there, or, you know, slice through something, it's going to work. It's just not going to be your all-day, everyday slicer or something that's going to be a crazy good slicer. But it's going to work just fine. And especially, like I said, with the Ergos, you're going to have a lot of pressure into your cuts very comfortably. Which also makes knives cut better when, you know, you have good Ergos. Now, the, the, the blade or the edge, the edge wasn't the... 
it's a nice edge, very sharp. It came very sharp. I bought this from Lefty EDC. Shout out to Lefty EDC. Um, I can get these for about, I can link them for about 90 bucks. He did give me a pretty decent deal on it. So down in the, in the description, they're like 90 bucks if you want to pick one up. But the, the edge came nice and sharp. Um, and I haven't sharpened it or anything. Eventually I will. And when I do, I'm going to lay back the edge. The edge angle is a little high on this. So even though I said it was about 15 thousandths behind the edge, it's going to get thicker when I do sharpen it, which all flat grinds do. I'm just saying that the thickness behind the edge right now, it's going to change after I lay back the angle because it's a pretty high angle probably 22 degrees per side, something like that. I'm going to lay it back to probably 15 degrees per side, maybe 17 degrees per side, which will also make it cut and slice way better than it does right now. Does it need to? No, but I'm going to do it because I'm going to sharpen it anyways when I do. Lately, all I've done is tune it up on my strop. I got um, some beaver leather here with some green aluminum oxide compound and it has worked just fine 14c 28n does tune up very nicely and it's uh it's very easy to maintain now the clip the clip and carry the clip works fine even though i don't like these style clips this one does not have a lot of tension so it winds up working i don't like these kind of clips this one's good. This one's fine. It winds up working just fine. I normally have been carrying it in my Real Man EDC um, leather, the organizer, my Real Man Real Leather EDC organizer. That's where I have been carrying it, but I have carried it in the pockets a couple times just to see how the clip works, and it works just fine. Now, the, um, the milling on it looks really cool. I like the way it looks on both sides. It matches. The inlay is really well done. Very, very comfortable. The seams are, it does, it does slightly sit higher, but it's very nicely fit. No voids. It looks really good. Tucson does a really good um, job with their carbon fiber. T8 hardware. Love to see that. It's only the two screws. This screw goes in through the clip. The steel liner is a nice thick liner, which I do like. Um, nice and comfortable. And the stop pin is a regular stop pin, but it's a decent size for this size of a knife. So it does have an extremely strong lockup. Now, a couple complaints. One is that when I got it, well, all right. So I, I said I got it from Lefty of EDC. Lefty EDC originally had issues when he took it apart, put it back together. Um, when he would slow roll it, it would lock up heavy and then it would get a little stick. So uh, he wound up figuring it out and fixing it. When I got it, I took it apart and then I had the exact same issue. I was having issues back here. When I tighten this screw down extremely tight, which it's tight right now, perfectly tight, no problems, there's no gaps, no nothing, it's perfectly tight. But when I over tighten it, for some reason, when I go to slow roll it, it locks up really strong and then there's lock stick. Now when I just reverse flick it hard, it doesn't do it. Um, same thing that happened to Lefty, except for I don't know how he fixed his issue. When I fixed it, all I did was just, I backed this screw out just a little tiny bit and it took it right away. So that was a little issue and I was like kind of uh, messing with it, trying to figure it out. And I couldn't figure out why it was doing it. But after I got it tuned and then let my, um, my, uh, thread locker cure and dry, it's fine. It's just fine now. No issues. Um, but a couple complaints though, other than that one, I don't usually like single screw clips. However, this one is very solid because they inset it and it fits perfect. If it didn't fit as perfect as it does, it probably wouldn't uh, be as good. It'd probably move a little bit, but their tolerances are really, really good. Next thing, I do wish it had a little bit better geometry. Like I said, this is a basic EDC knife. It's not that big of a deal. However, it's also just a two inch, two and five eighths inch blade. This thing is a small knife. Yes, you have the ergos for a hard use knife, but that doesn't mean you need the geometry of a hard use knife with such a little blade like this, especially with this blade shape. I mean, it's not like it's a little razor blade shape for prying and things like that. This, 
you know, it's not horrible geometry because of the type of knife it is and what it's for. But I would have liked to see this thinned out just a little bit. Other than that, this thing is awesome. I do really like it. It is a cool little backup knife, a little EDC knife that does feel like it's extremely well built. Very fun to fidget with. Like I said, it's not false shut action, but it's still very fun. I, I do like it quite a bit. And there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.